It's Out on the Town! Today we're joining Jeff and Joy as they take us to St. Charles to visit the Wine Exchange, a casual wine sampling shop that captures the essence of a Californian vineyard. Here we'll be picking up some tips from the owner on selecting the perfect wine to complement any meal or occasion. Later, Jeff and Joy will be taking us out to dinner at North Aurora at Raimondo's Pizza and Pub, a family-owned restaurant that boasts quality homemade Italian food that will make anyone feel like a member of the Raimondo family. It's going to be an evening full of great food, good friends, and fun. So get ready because Jeff and Joy are about to take you out on the town. So we're here at the Wine Exchange, and Joy, what are we going to be doing? We're going to be trying some wines, tasting, shopping, learning how to pair it with different foods, all kinds of things. Yeah, so we're going to learn about red wine, white wine, sparkling wine. So if you have any questions, this is the episode for you. I would agree. <laughs> I would agree, too. So how about we go uh, try some wine? Yeah, let's go do it. All right, so we're going to take you guys... Out on the town. Out on the town. Okay, so we're here with the owner of the Wine Exchange, Mike Frazier. Hi, Mike. Thanks Hello. so much for having us. Thank you. Uh, you've got quite a wine shop here. I do. It's really, really spectacular. Well, you walk in you. and you're like, wow, I feel like I'm in California or something. That was the purpose of doing it this way. No How kidding. How long have you been here? I've been here eight years. Eight years, okay. But a passion for wine, I'm sure, longer than that. <laughs> well, yeah, a little bit longer than that. <laughs> but uh, yeah, eight years here in this location. I was next door for about five years, so um, this has worked out quite well. Yeah, well, I, I would say so. Uh, you know, it's one of the things that we're really interested in hearing about uh, is the wine club, because I know that's something that really separates you <coughs> apart from other uh, wine stores in the area. Uh, so why don't you tell us a little bit about that? Well, first of all, I grew up in California and going to wine tastings at various vineyards, they would let you sample numerous wines and you got to pick what you wanted and so you develop a taste for a certain wine then you knew what to buy. So I kind of wanted to replicate that here in St. Charles and have a tasting bar where people could come up, taste the wine, and if they like the wine they could buy it or, or not depending on whatever the circumstances were. Some wine shops ship people wine. I don't do that. I let people pick their own wine. I don't pick the, pick the wine for them. And then they come down and taste wine. So the way it works is they a couple pays $50 a year. And for that $50, they get to come to every weekend wine tasting, both Friday and Saturday. And they're from 4 to 7. And so they come down, and we usually have from 6 to... 20 wines, some mostly six or seven, and they taste a variety of uh, different grapes and different wines. If they like it, they buy it. If they don't, they come back the next night, and they have uh, over 100, 130 opportunities to do that for $50, which is probably the best wine bargain in the state. What type of, you know, members or clients you know, do you typically get? Do you get like wine aficionados or like casual wine enthusiasts or just even novices? You know, well, who, who I, likes to I, come really, to the wine I, exchange? I think it starts at novices and I really enjoy working with them the best because we're really helping them develop their love or, or, or knowledge about wine at least. So novices are good. So wine snobs or the guys that, you know, swirl the glass and sniff and swirl, we're, we're good for them, but it, this isn't that kind of shop. This shop is, it, it's like a cheers bar. Everybody knows your name. Everybody gets to know each other. There's nobody that really is pretentious and we just have a lot of fun. What areas of the world do the wines come from? Well, after 1976, when when the California wines beat the French wines, uh, there was an explosion of areas in the world that, that could grow good quality grapes, and that included South Africa and Chile and Argentina, Australia, New Zealand, and so on. It wasn't then just limited to France and Italy and Spain. So it kind of classifies new world, old world. Uh, old world styles are a little bit different. New world styles are more fruit forward, a little brighter fruit, and that is typically what sells in this market is New World. Although I carry French and Italian and Spanish and Argentina and Australian and so on, Napa cabs, Napa wines, uh, California wines, West Coast wines tend to sell the best. And you can find all of those here at the Wine Exchange. Yes, you can. Well, Mike, you got a great shop here. Uh, well, thank you. Yeah, thanks so much for you having me. You thanks. need to come back. Yeah, yeah. so I was going to say, you know what, i got to go 
get my membership right now. So uh, I encourage you all to come on down, get your membership at the Wine Exchange in St. Charles, and then you can see uh, Jeff and Joy whenever you want. <laughs> well, you really do have quite the selection here. And I was thinking, you know, uh, next weekend I was having some friends over. We're probably going to do some grilling. Um, and I was thinking of grilling some steaks. But what would go well with something like that? Like, I never really know how to pick the well, wine. Well, you know, I, there's, there's a whole thing about picking a wine based on the food. And really, uh, if, if I said Cabernet, which is what I would put with, or, or Malbec, which is what I'd put with a steak, if you, liked, if you liked white wine, then I would be guiding you into something you wouldn't like and ultimately if you like the wine and you like the food that's a good pairing okay. but the ideal pairing for steak would be something depending on how you're gonna cook the steak if you're gonna grill it uh, something big and bold something with a lot of heft that's Cabernet or Malbec. Malbec is outstanding. Malbec really uh, comes from Argentina most often. And I feel like it's just recently that people have really been having that on the menus. I've seen Malbec a lot more. Well, Argentina has started making fabulous Malbec. You know, it's uh, it didn't used to be all that great 15 years ago, but it, it's great. And boy, a, a grilled steak screams for Malbec. So, okay. excellent wine. So, I'm thinking, you know, because summertime too, people do tend to go towards white. So I suppose if you were going to serve um, a white wine, what are some of the foods then that you would serve with that? Well, I, a lot of people um, have been drinking Chardonnay. Uh, the problem with Chardonnay is there's people that don't like Chardonnay. Sometimes it's oaky. They don't like oaky. They like it un -oaked. Uh, a real good choice for that is Sauvignon Blanc. It's crisp, it's clean, especially if it's domestic. If it comes from New Zealand, it's going to be very citrusy and grapefruity, but a crisp, clean Northern California Sauvignon Blanc goes with just about anything as a starter wine, not with necessarily with the steak, okay. but as maybe with a salad or or getting everybody a, a little lighter. A little lighter, yeah. yeah. Okay, I like it. So that. good stuff. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. And of course, there's all kinds of other choices too. If you had chicken or fish, you might want to, and you wanted red, you might go with a Pinot Noir because Pinot Noir is very light and it doesn't overpower the fish. If you got a Cabernet, it would tend to own the, the meal. It would overpower the delicacy of the meal. Okay. So. So it'd be red more heavy meals and whites kind of a little yeah, bit lighter. Yeah, try and pair the, the meal with the lighter the meal, consider the lighter the wine. Okay. The heavier the meal, the heavier the wine. So there are some tips and tricks for you guys. There you go. Yeah. Well, thank you so much. Thank now you. I know exactly what to get for my dinner party. Thank you, Joy. <laughs> so you're here for a tasting. We, are, I am. Is this your first ever tasting? No. Okay. So yes. I'm, I'm going to try and guide you through a little of what yeah, we have. Yeah, that'd be great. This is the first one was put in your glass is a rosé. Okay. Now, a lot of people will say, no, I don't want that. It looks like white Zinfandel. Mm -hmm. White Zinfandel is very sweet. R most rosés do not have any residual sugar, so they're not sweet. Hmm. So take a taste. What do you think? Swirl it around. Nice and light. Yeah. Now that's a refreshing summer drink. It's just so light. It's made out of Grenache, which is a red grape. Chardonnay is probably the most popular grape varietal in the U.S. Um, a lot of people love it. It can be heavily oaked. It can be lightly oaked. This is the middle of the road. Okay. It's from Napa. Again, crisp and clean. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and there's a little oak there. Mm -hmm. little, but not... Not overly, overly powerful. Sometimes a lot of the wineries are backing off the oak. It, we got way over oaked a few years ago. Yeah. Now we're coming back. In fact, a lot of Chardonnays have no oak. They yeah. were fermented and, and aged in stainless steel. And that, those, you know, those are the ones that I really very like. Very crisp. Yeah, yeah, very yeah. crisp, very clean. Right. Good. Yeah. But, those are good. So now we're going to, it's Grenache, Syrah, and Mouvedre. And those are three Rhone varietals, southern France, mm -hmm. and they blend them and they make a real nice, solid wine. Not as heavy as a Cabernet, Grenache is not, but it comes across very, very fruit forward and uh, easy to drink. So give it a try. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. So now the question is, which one's your favorite? But you have to know what the environment is. If you're on the patio, maybe these two. If you're having a heavier meal, maybe this one. Yeah. 
I like all wines, but it's the in, it's the situation you're in that demands the wine. Absolutely, and so, the company you're with, right? Absolutely. Uh, you know, um, so when people start thinking about wine, what's the like? If they're a total novice, the number one thing you could tell them is try a lot of different wines. Don't feel like any wine is dismissed. Now, oh, I don't like that. I don't like sweet wine. Okay, well, try, I like sweet wine. Try, try them all, and and sooner or later you'll start to define which ones you like better, which varietals you like better. But wine is all about the experience, who you're with, where you are. If you're in, relaxed and good company, it's all the experience. And a good wine on a bad experience is still a bad experience. Well, we're having a great experience here uh, good. at the Wine and Exchange. That's what and, thank, and thank you so much for sharing all thank these you. wonderful wines. And I'll be taking this with me. So uh, You picked one. Well, thank you. We'll see you later. <laughs> thank you. Well, that was certainly enjoyable. And very, I mean, I learned a lot. Yeah. Very educational. Yeah. And, you know, what we were saying earlier about pouring red wine into white wine, oh, yeah. probably don't, it's not a good idea, it. so don't do that. You don't want to do that. No. Uh, Look, I learned a lot. I'm looking at the legs. Good for you. Yeah. <laughs> Those are legs. Oh, no. See, it helps no. it, like, on a table no, or something. That's what I do, but, so yeah. Bad. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, everybody, uh, if you haven't been to the wine exchange, you got to come down. It's you awesome. Join, Join the, club. the club. 50 bucks. I know. You can For, like, that. I don't know, 300 events? Seriously. You come in and you say, I want my glass, I'm a club member. And, and you get some brats. And you drink. <laughs> and you enjoy great wine and you learn stuff and you get to meet cool people, just like we did tonight. Yeah. Hi, I'm Tom Wangler, president of Confident Air. Regular maintenance can prolong the life of your furnace and keep your energy costs to a minimum. Plus, there's less of a chance of a breakdown on a cold winter night. Your furnace needs proper care and attention to keep it running smoothly, so you don't end up paying too much for heating during the cold winter months, or worse yet, with deadly carbon monoxide poisoning. We recommend an annual inspection to ensure safe operation. Confident Air, your trusted home comfort professionals since 1992. The King County Chronicle is your best source for news and information in print and online in the Tri-Cities and Caneland. This is Chronicle Country. This is Chronicle Country. This is Chronicle Country. This is Chronicle Country. Are you looking for quality, integrity, and value in a remodeler? Then look no further than Batavia's own Green Star Remodeling. Green Star Remodeling is Batavia's hometown remodeler. We're a full-service exterior remodeling company that does everything from roofing and siding to windows, doors, and more. Green Star Remodeling delivers quality and value at an affordable price. Our customers are number one and every customer is satisfied. If it's your dream, we'll make it happen. Visit GreenStarRemodeling.com or call 630-406-8826. Hey folks, we're here at Ramondo's in North Aurora and Joy, what do they do here best? Pizza, pasta, a little bit of craft beer. So you're in for a treat tonight. Not only do they make pizza, but it's dad's sauce mm -hmm. and mom's dough. Yeah. We love family-owned restaurants, and we're excited to go talk to everybody here at Raimondo's. Let's go see what they've got going on. The kitchen's right there. Let's go. Let's go this way. Hey, everybody. Uh, we are here with owner Mike at Raimondo's. Thank you so much for having us here. This is a lovely establishment. Thank you. We're very excited to try all the food. <laughs> <laughs> we're excited to have you, and uh, we love being able to serve food that I grew up on as a kid. Uh, mom's uh, dough and dad's sauce. It's, uh, it's really delicious, and it's a great pleasure to share it with everybody else. Yeah, actually, let's talk about that a little bit. Um, what is the story of Raimondo's and how it got here? It's quite interesting, and it actually started off with my dad was an officer here in town, and he um, would work midnights. And, and back in the the 80s, there was there were very few places that were actually open at night, and mom would make him pizzas to take to work. Before you knew it, uh, fellow officers were ordering frozen pizzas out of my parents' house. No kidding. <laughs> yes, yes. And a local business actually had heard about this and asked them to cater a Christmas party. A couple weeks later, he called and said, "Listen." Uh, I own a, a, a bar in town, and if you're ever interested in going into business, I'll carve a little spot out of the back kitchen for you. And uh, Raimondo's was started uh, over on Route 25 here in North Aurora back in 1989. Oh, 
Oh, wow. that's very cool. Very unique story. One thing that I really found uh, that I love is that you offer gluten-free pizza, pasta, but also gluten-free beer. Yes. Um, many years ago, I met uh, a friend who was had a gluten allergy, and and I tell you, when we were putting our business plan together, we decided that we had to to cater to that crowd as well. It's not fair that you got to eat rabbit food while everybody else is stuffing their face with delicious pizza. Sure. sure. So uh, we searched uh, far and wide, and we found a company that we really really like that we think matches with our quality and uh, that's what we served and we get rave reviews on our gluten-free crust. Yeah, that's, it's so very difficult to find a good gluten-free pizza. Yes. Yeah. And that typically means that you have to give up beer as well, and uh, not so here. We carry uh, three models from Belgium that are completely gluten-free. We also carry uh, Prairie Path from Two Brothers, a mm -hmm. local brewery out of Warrenville. And that beer is, though it's made with barley, it, uh, by FDA standards, uh, meets the gluten-free requirements. Mm -hmm. That's really great. Yeah. Well, Michael, thank you so much for taking you know time away from this busy night here at Raimondo's to talk with Joy and I. Uh, <laughs> We're going to go order and taste some of this delicious Excellent. food. Excellent. So thanks again. Thank you very much. Thank you. Pleasure to have you Excellent. and really appreciate this opportunity. Thank cool. you. Oh my goodness. Look at all this menus and foods and beers and things. <laughs> no, it's a very extensive beer list for sure. Yeah. It's, it's, it's all of this. It's all beer. I know, but he, is, he really is a connoisseur. So he likes to educate people. Yeah. Well, I think I know which one I'm going to get. Yeah. Now, are you going to get beer or wine? I think oh, I will. hey. Welcome to Raimondo's. Oh, well, I thank do. you. I do have some specials this evening. Okay. Okay, I have a rotolo, which is a fresh basil and Italian cheeses rolled up in sheets of pasta, then sliced with an Asiago cream sauce over the top. And then I have um, the shrimp. Aggioli, um, which is going to be shrimp with pasta in a garlic butter sauce. Um, I do have some specials on pizza. Uh, okay. Our most popular is probably the Godfather so we've heard. pizza. Yeah, that's We're good. here for the Godfather, we are here for sure. sure. Yeah. Excellent. So can I get you something to drink? Well, I was thinking, could we maybe start off with some bruschetta? Oh, excellent. I heard some really good things about your bruschetta. Yeah. I'm down. Yeah, you want that? Okay, and then we'll, we'll talk. <laughs> yeah. And then we'll order. Okay, I'll get that working for you. Okay, thanks. Hey, thanks. I don't know, I like those specials. Let's get those. I always like getting specials. Makes you feel special. Because you're getting the special. Yeah. But it's kind of off the menu because it's something that obviously they want to, you know, they want to try. Exactly. Yeah. I think that's what we got to go for. We're getting the specials. And the Godfather pizza. Because it's spicy. And we like it the spicy. Oh, there it is. Ooh, Ooh that looks lovely. Ooh, and it comes with the correct glass. Isn't that nice? You knew. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Very cool. Wow. Oh, are you? Uh, oh. Whip, full service here at Romano's. <laughs> like that. Nice. Thank you. Look at that. Yeah. That does look good. Mm -hmm. It was a good recommendation. OK. There, there we are. OK. Happy. Well, well, cheers. Cheers. <laughs> to beers. Ooh, it's got a little spice to it. That tastes like another. <laughs> this. Yeah. yeah. You'll have another. Uh, yeah, I'll have another. Uh, well, Joy and I are going to enjoy our beverages, uh, but we're going to cut to a break. But when we get back, we're going to eat some delicious Romando's pizza, pasta, and everything else. We'll see you in a minute. The Drendel and Jansen's Law Group has practiced law in Aurora since 1961 and in Batavia since 1994. We focus our energy on representing people and businesses and families in the local community. We represent clients in Kane and surrounding counties in matters ranging from divorce to wills, business law to zoning. We focus our efforts on planning and working towards positive resolutions for businesses and families. When clients need someone to fight for their interests, we're ready, willing, and able to act as aggressive advocates to protect their interests. Trendle and Jansen's Law Group with offices in Batavia and Aurora and located on the web at batavialaw.com. Downtown Batavia, always moving by nature. Recreation. Nature. The arts. Specialty shops. Restaurants and services. Downtown is everyone's neighborhood. Come, 
celebrate, meet friends, unwind. See you downtown. Funway, it's your time in the fun. Race your friends. Bring your work group. Bring the whole family. See who's best of the best. Battle it out in a cool way on a hot day with water wars. Swing batter batter and hit one out of the park. Drive them crazy and in circles with bumper boats. And mini golf indoors or outside for kids of all ages. So round them up and head on over to Funway. Because it's always, always a, a fun day, day at Funway. Oh, I see food coming. Mm. Oh, and it is our food. <gasps> hey guys, we're Ooh. shut up. Oh Yay. my gosh. That's like a meal in itself. <laughs> Holy cowsers. Have we made any decisions as far as dinner? We did. Mm -hmm. Okay. You uh, you sold us on those specials. Excellent. Um, yeah, we're getting both. Yes. <laughs> and uh, we like to eat. Yeah. So and. Well, we were here for the pizza. Yeah. So but really you sold us on the special, so now we got to get both. I know. Excellent. So we'll do a Godfather as well? <laughs> yes, yes, on the original crust. Yes. Fantastic. Thank you. Okay. Thanks. Yikesers. All right, well. Look at all this. Okay. Wow. So, I do okay. like that it's a make your own thing. Yeah, it's fun. Little, you don't have to like have so much. Here, go Here. ahead, please. No, I, I'll, I'll, how's this? <laughs> Look at this. Oh, you're such a gentleman. Don't let that word get <laughs> Okay. Thank you so much. Okay. Wow, it looks really fresh. They say they make it every day. Every day, right? yeah. So, well, I think this is also a special dish. So this is like you know Italian salsa. So if like you're not sure like what bruschetta, bruschetta, however you say it, right? Mm -hmm. It's just think like Italian salsa it that goes on salsa. delicious. In this case, garlicky garlic bread. Yes. Yeah. So really simple. Okay. okay. All right. So this is we have the shrimp pasta. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm not going to try to say it. And then we've got the the rolled pasta. Yes. The rotolo. Right. Yeah. But I mean that is a process. So it's so they roll it and then they actually put all of it and then they, they bake it again. Oh my they goodness. do. <laughs> okay. Well, how should we attack I don't this? Even, I'm going to start here since it's in front of me. Do you okay. use the spoon when you twirl your pasta? Um. <laughs> yes and no. Yes and no. That's as possible. Okay. Okay. I'm really hoping. This so. is really good. So I'm taking some more. Okay. Can I just like? <laughs> What's nice about this is that it's that traditional flavor that when presented in a different way, mm -hmm. you know. Well, I like the layers, mm -hmm. and it's, that's going to be hard to roll that huge thing of pasta and then cut it. Yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. talent. And you know the the layers hit your palate in a different. You know, like at first you get the the, the tomato sauce, and then there's that uh, spinach ricotta mixture mm -hmm. that's in there with a hint of garlic, and uh, and then to, what really brings it out is that sharp blue cheese sauce, the Asiago cheese sauce. Mm -hmm. Yeah, excellent. And then finish it off with a sip of your and beer. And then finish it off with a delicious <laughs> beer. So it's a perfect meal. Yeah. Wait, can you explain this one more time for us again? This one has the chopped, slow-cooked Italian beef, okay. the jardinier, and then the mozzarella on it. Thanks. Made world famous by Raimondo's. Okay. Wow. Enjoy. Okay. Joy, uh, yes. here you are. Uh, wow, left-handed even. Oh, nope. look at that. Yeah. Oh. Oh, my goodness. You got it. You got it. Ooh, cheesy. cheesy. How long will it go? I don't know. Nobody knows. We're just going to do this and... Thank you. Ta-da. Okay. And since I'm eating this. I'm a big fan of Jardinier on pizza, let me just say. So that they have something like this on the menu is really all right by me. <laughs> okay. So now the question of etiquette. What? Oh. Fork and knife or pick it up? As I already have it in my hands. Okay. <laughs> now, fans of the show. You're well aware that Joy no, they're has, not. A, has a pizza eating problem. No, they're not well aware. <laughs> <laughs> Every episode we eat pizza. It's a Joy, time. Joy, Joy, Joy just. I can't wait. She dives in <laughs> and ends up with a burnt mouth. <laughs> not this time. Not this time. Okay. Wow. Look at that.
winning combination. Hey everybody, I'm back here with Michael, and you know, I noticed that you actually have this room back there. Do you do any type of special events and things like that? We do. It's a wonderful addition to our restaurant, and we'll host everything from business um, events to birthday parties. Um, we recently had uh, some first communions in there. Um, we also host uh, wine and painting parties, uh, really? beer tasting events, yes. Okay, so people actually get to come and drink some wine and paint? Yes, absolutely. Uh, we have a local artist here that uh, comes in and teaches people how to paint, and for a ticket, they get to uh, sample or have a glass of their favorite wine that we carry, anything off of our shelf. Uh, we serve them a delicious Romano's pizza and other appetizers, some flatbreads, uh, spinach artichoke dip, things like that and uh, she teaches them how to paint a painting. It's a lot of fun uh, for about two and a half, three hours worth of time. Really, and everyone actually gets to walk home with a painting. Everybody gets to go home with a painting for the ticket price. We also do beer tasting events here. I'm a bit of an enthusiast. Ah, uh, we I have, can tell by the menu. <laughs> it's a little extensive. No, I love it though. I love all the choices and it really kind of gets you to uh, not just try new things, but also kind of gets you into beer. I wasn't really a, a beer person until I was able to try different, different styles. Well, you know, with education comes appreciation. And one thing that we like to say that we do a little different is that we teach people about beer. We explain the differences and nuances. I have a couple of beers I call gateway beers. Okay. And what we'll do is we'll help walk people through the beers and into different flavors. And before you know it, we got people that actually come to the restaurant looking for what's new and what's different because we have a revolving menu. Okay. And now they're exploring uh, where maybe they had started off with simple Pilsners and maybe a Belgian wit beer. We're now doing big imperial stouts and IPAs, double IPAs. PAs, things like that. that is what happened to me. I started out with some a Pilsner and now I know I like stouts. So that was exactly what happened. <laughs> yes, stouts are delicious and we have an incredible one on the handle if you'd like to try one. Well, there you go. Maybe I will give that a try. Um, and I, uh, I also was thinking, um, you know, as far as special events, you can actually also rent out that area? Yes, we don't charge for the area as long as you're ordering food from us. Uh, the the uh, room is for free. So we can seat up to 36 people in there, although we've had actually 50 plus people for a party where we'll turn dining area three into an extension of the party room. We'll put the buffet table off to the side, rearrange some tables, and now if you have a large event, we can host that just as well. That's really great. So you heard that, folks. Um, if you actually want to host your event here, or if you want to do some painting, try some wine, have a craft beer tasting, come right here to Romando's. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> I am stuck. Oh, that was some good pizza. And if you like pizza, pasta. you're going to like that pizza. <laughs> And if you like pizza, you're gonna love that pizza. You're gonna love that pizza. <laughs> yeah. So what a great, great restaurant. Um, quality uh, pasta, quality pizza, great beers, but most importantly, great owners. I know. I can see why they brought it all back. Yeah. Yeah. Just if you're looking for a place that is gonna welcome you like your family, Raimondo's is it. Yeah, you gotta come to Romano's, check out the really amazing pizzas that they've got coming out, check out um, all the pasta that they have here, and did you like the choices of craft beer? I did, I did, and that's one thing I think I'll be coming back to try even more since they have so many. <laughs> so, uh, once again, another great episode of Out on the Town, Joy. <laughs> thank you for joining us. Uh, yeah, thank you for joining us. So I'm Jeff Matter. And I'm Joy Cortero. And we'll see you Out on the Town. <laughs>